What's going on everybody? Rat here from Rat Tarot and this is going to be our new moon into Cancer which is a partial solar eclipse. Um, so just, um, just one second to sort out the stream here or rather to watch it from a different page so I don't get distracted from a, a things which are which are things from the main um, from the main software that I'm using. Just give me a minute. Uh, things which are all right. So we are we are sorted out now, and uh, yeah, welcome everybody. Ah, uh, one second. Yeah, all right. So this is going to be, uh, as many of you know, the uh, lunar cycle reading, which is a general reading for the star sign, for the star signs. Uh, <clears throat> and as per usual, uh, I want to make a little bit of a disclaimer here that this is just a, a general reading. It is not your personal reading, guys, for your star sign. However, uh, you can have your personal lunar eclipse uh, by going at my website and uh, there you're going to see that service for a personal report about the lunar cycles. And uh, if you haven't yet checked it out, my YouTube channel, which you probably did, but still, let, let's say it, uh, you can go there and watch your monthly taroscope. Uh, that covers up the July general and if you like it and you want to go deeper than that you know you can uh, go again at my web uh, at my website and there under the section of July extended uh, Monte Tower reading you can uh, have your star sign extended tower reading that covers up career and relationship for just as little as one dollar and with that being set aside um, those who already uh, made a purchase for the extended, not for the extended, but for the lunar cycle readings, their readings will be fetched tomorrow. Tomorrow is my day of uh, recording. So that being said, now I'm going to shuffle the cards and we're going to uh, do Aries first, as per usual. Aries goes first and afterwards uh, we move on all the way to Pisces. And after Pisces, we're going to do what? It's a quick blitz. And under quick blitz, I mean that I'm going to answer your questions, guys, by uh, drawing a, a tarot card per question per person. Laurentia, thank you. Hello Yvonne, how are you doing? Alright, so um, just a quick explanation of the spread. This is a, a five card spread. Yeah, it's been a while, Esperanza. As I said, I'm working on a few projects now uh, and uh, that's why I'm not that active lately. But that's going to change. Anyway, so quick explanation of the spread. It's five card spread. Now the first three cards uh, represent the material aspect of the lunar cycle. The second two cards, which are the fourth and the fifth one, does represent the ethereal um, aspect of the lunar cycle or the spiritual one. Happy to see you as well. So uh, for Aries, is the first card, that will be the, the full card representing the topic of the lunar cycle. And then the second one is going to be the two of pentacles, which is the uh, obstacles or the challenges that Aries needs to overcome here. Then we do have the uh, death card that represents the intentions Aries needs to have. Uh, by the way, guys, um, because I have a lot of I'm quite busy lately, so I will try to make these readings as quick as possible, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to cut corners with them, all right? It is just the explanation of the cards themselves. I'm going to kind of like overrule that in a sense of that I will not get into explanations of the different of the different cards. 
So what we have for Aries here is that this lunar cycle is going to present them with a new beginning. That is quite understandable from the full card. But because we do have the death and the two of pentacles next to the full card, and especially two of pentacles taking take taking a place of a um, of an obstacles, it means that even though the new beginning will be presented, Aries says there will be things from their current situations or rather remnants from the past which are going to pull Aries away from that new beginning, all right? Unless intention-wise with the death card, Aries is ready to burn those bridges with the past. So very, uh, very important uh, lunar cycle for them here because and it's an eclipse as well a partial at least very important lunar cycle with Aries is where they can really make a, a clean break with uh, their uh, let's say traumatic or noxious past or a past where they uh, they just um, you know remember it with poignant experience and start fresh that could reflect either to their career or either to, either to their relationship life but in general uh, these cards are promising you a, a fresh start into a, a field of your, of your life or maybe of your entire life as well so with these cards i could i could say aries is that everything is possible for you guys during this lunar cycle but it is very important that you do have the readiness there uh, to um Exert and uh, I are determined actions toward it because being scampered around is not gonna help it really. It's just you you need to be ready to step toward. It's not even toward the unknown, but rather to take the leap of faith. And then we do have the ethereal thing for you now. The lesson you need to learn here we do have the seven of swords. Lesson wise, this card points that you have to work for yourself and only for yourself entirely. Also, the card represents standing for once, right? That being said, if something is going on wrong around you, all right, and uh, you are placing others in front of yourself and you're raising your voice. Uh, because you think that that is going to not even hurt others, but place them into an uncomfortable position, you should rethink your position as well and stop pleasing everybody else but yourself. And then we do have the energies which are going to support you here. That will be the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is an energy of harmony, an energy of a material growth as well. And under material growth, I mean success into one business, as I said, harmony into one relationships, not just one romantic, but also business relationships as well. Ace of Pentacles points that whatever idea you do have here in the full card or whatever is promised to you as a new beginning can surely be materialized with the energy which is going to support you during this lunar cycle. Thus, you don't waste your time in these couple of weeks, Aries, but whatever doesn't want to stay in your life you can simply show them the uh, show that thing the door and invite something else to take it to take its place. Uh, so uh, that being said, we conclude that Aries is here, and now we are going to Taurus. Now let me shuffle. All Hello, Teresa. Taurus is wise. They got the Justice card as a um, the topic of the lunar cycle. Then we do have the Ace of Pentacles as a uh, potential challenges they have to face. And intention wise, we do have the Three of Swords. Uh, these three cards for Taurus is regarding material uh, material cycle. It does mean that they will have to reprioritize the structure of their daily routine or in other words they will not be able to execute the things the way they want to execute them because either the way they want to execute them either they are selfish or they are or the tourist itself is quite unprepared for what is coming however uh, these three cards are resembling a person who, how can I place it really, uh, a person who quickly realizes where they are uh, making errors and mistakes and what, what aims of theirs is actually a fallacy and 
by realizing these fallacious profits that they may obtain from whatever you know aim they got i reprioritizing the efforts that they would have placed into that fallacious aim to as uh, something that is actually real and it's quite reachable right now it does look like that they are going to make quite a lot of profits so that being said do not chase ghosts you tauruses do not chase um cloudy towers if i may say it that way but rather focus upon those things which are real and in front of you right now just to give you an example here guys Taurus is, um let's say that you do have two potential suitors all right and one of those suitors wants to be with you right now in this very moment and the other is just promising to be with you but somewhere further into the future now the fallacious goal is going to be with the one that promises to you something while the real goal is the one that wants to do something right now in this very moment and you have to focus on these things which can be uh, dealt with right now in this very moment and take the profits out of them instead of uh, as i said hope uh, hopefully waiting because um in a difference with the Aries is here, you don't have to take the leap of faith. There is no faith in what you need to do here, but there is only relying on what is real in front of you. And the lesson you need to learn here, that will be the full card, which points that you have to, uh, because the full card um, also focus on the, uh, how, on the, uh, wow, I forgot the word here. Just one second. On the civilization excuse me so because we do have the dog and dog is a um, is a symbol of civilization because the dogs are uh, civilized animals there are no such thing as wild dogs there is but they are in Africa and they are from the family of the wolves this is the only breed that it is wild every single breed of dog is a, a product of civilization and that's why you have to focus upon the making the civilized decision here rather than the dreamy decision all right and material and um <clears throat> kind of lesson wise the full card kind of teaches us that we need to give a um give a chance even to the smallest things in life because from the smallest things in life actually sometimes the most beautiful things happens all right so you Tauruses for what seems to be very small you have to nurture it and you you eventually that thing is going to grow instead of as I said aim into a, something that may not ever happen but it seems much larger in the grand scheme of things than what you already have and energy wise here uh, which are going to support you we do have the two of swords only only a couple of things i'm going to say about this card is that uh you have to store as much as you can your situations because these energies will favor you in a such way that as much as you store um the obvious right the the uh the right choice for you is going to become obvious with time so the energies themselves are going to bring you the right decision on plate that being said you don't have to kind of like terrorize yourself what kind of decision you need to make but just wait as much as you can and you will realize it sooner than later so uh nadia maybe at the end of the stream after pisces as i said i'm going to draw uh cards for several questions if you want to be drawn a card stick around and maybe you will be chosen I choose the most interesting question questions and those which are kind of like um, you know I feel connected to me hello Amy how are you doing so next one that will be Gemini Geminis, we do have the Hierophant uh, for you for the topic of this lunar cycle. Then is the uh, King of Cups, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. 
and afterwards we do have the seven of wands so that kind of speaks for romantic interest that you are going to encounter a romantic interest that should be um slumber for what i can say here because the hierophant stands more as a, a trust it stands more as a security rather than emotional connection. The emotional connection should follow afterwards. And that's why you need to put here in an opposition. Intention-wise, seven, uh, seven of Wands means where you need to kind of like define your estate. You know, you need to define your domain. And after you define your domain, you should not allow anybody to enter into that particular domain until they don't prove themselves that they are trustworthy. All right. So for what it seems, we do have a person here who stands as a challenge, who is quite, uh, let's say, appealing, especially emotionally wise. He is very capable to make emotional connections. King of Cups. That is the master of the emotions. And instead of, you know, instead of you just throwing yourself into his lap it will be best if you test them first all right or if you test him first by throwing him into the most ordinary um most ordinary situations because the hierophant card um, demands tradition and what is the tradition first getting to know each other afterwards dating you know and if you are capable to pass through that then um then you can you know consider what exactly you can do from there you know should you make that relationship or not and then we do have uh, the oh my god and then you do have the uh a lesson that you need to learn, Gemini, is that will be the Page of Swords. And Page of Swords speaks of testing. Page of Swords speaks of uh, reconnoitering the environment, of testing up the soil, you know. And this is what we're talking about, because Page of Swords points that sometimes fiction could present itself as fact to you. And before you decide what to do, you have to uh, kind of place everything you know to be true against, you know, what it is presented to you, all right? So um, don't over trust. You need to kind of trust the healthy sense of mistrust during this lunar cycle, especially if you are dealing with other people. And energy wise here, we do have the seven of pentacles, which kind of gives you the acute sense of when something is rotten, when something isn't quite right. You are going to sense that and the, the whole energies are going to give you a, a very big sign of that you need to stop and think about it all right hello megan all right so that was gemini is now going to cancer Right, it's just when I don't respond, you know, obviously I do something different or I'm sleeping. There is no point spamming me. Now, the Cancerians, Cancer. Hello, hello, everybody. So, uh, Ace of Pentacles it is your um, topic here. Then we do have Seven of Wands, which is the, um, the challenges that you got to overcome. And afterwards, we do have the Knight of, uh, the Knights of Wands as your intentions. All right. Um, hello, Kelly. So what we do have for you, Cancers, is that uh, you will try to put this stir into something that's, that looks like either a project of yours or in general something that you have planned. 
uh, this lunar cycle you try to materialize it to to make it work in general however what we do have here is that your plan is uh, partially incorrect that is displayed with the seven of uh, with the seven of wands or you didn't took under consideration the attitude of some people because seven of wands it is closely connected with people that are concerned about that either project or about either that relationship it could be as well activity that you are planning to make with your boyfriend let's say or a girlfriend or your husband as well uh, the, the bottom line is that you will most likely face not just an opposition but also people that are trying to bring that project or activity down because it doesn't concern them and uh, your intentions here with the with the knight of wands should be entirely focused upon taking on a different approach you know because the approach that you have planned that's why well that's why i'm saying that you probably didn't plan it very well because uh, otherwise if you plan it very well it will not concern or kind of like it is not going to um yeah it's the word is concerned but let's say obstruct other people and create predicaments for them you know uh and then you will not have that kind of an opposition and just to give you an example with uh, the um let's say with uh, the vacation probably uh let's say that you and your partner in in relationship have planned their vacation or you have planned a vacation you know uh but you want to do it in an exact particular time however your children has something else scheduled from school all right so you have to take a little bit of a different approach like rescheduling that vacation or rescheduling the other activity etc etc so it's kind of like it, it will take a little bit of a touch you know but it's not going to be a big deal and with the knights of wants and intentions uh, that speaks that there are many other options available for you to re, uh, re adapt you know that whatever you are trying to materialize either relationship project at work new job etc etc so basically you have to be playful cancers you're this uh, and adaptable due to this uh, lunar cycle afterwards we do have uh, the lesson you need to learn that will be the four of uh, the four of pentacles and this is a, a lesson that describes the already existing patterns the conventional way you know you cannot bypass the conventional way which means that those kind of uh, the activities of the other people which does concern your activity they need to happen as well all right so you need to uh, be mindful about everything that does not depend on you but in yet you do depend on it all right and uh, adapt yourself around it because that way you're not just going to avoid conflicts but as well this card points that you have to take your precautionary measures you know not to lead your project or activity into uh to, into a downhill hello frank how are you doing and then we do have energy wise that will be the page of swords very awkward about energies because when we talk about energies the age of the page of swords is about that kind of like violent energy ready to storm everything you know denying failure and always um whatever happens you know they always find a way to make the things their way so for what it seems energy wise no one should be able to stand against you you know you you cancers will have the uh the remarkable ability to prove everybody wrong around you but that doesn't make you right so you have to be mindful how you use that particular that kind of a particular energy on your behalf well barbara we are going to see pisces in approximately i don't know maybe 40 minutes because right now i just finished cancer Oh yeah, Morgan. Uh, hopefully now, from now on, I will kind of like go live more often. Because I haven't been live for like, I don't know, maybe a couple of months or something. But yeah, now I'm going to drink a little bit of a, of a coffee. And again, to remind you guys that if you didn't watch yet your... Um, monthly taroscopes my youtube channel is written here in the description of this video and you can go there and watch your monthly taroscopes and if you find them uh helpful you know and you like them and you want to know more for just one dollar you can get your extended monthly reading that covers up 
particularly career and relationship life for your star sign that could be purchased from my website oh yeah just just not just to not forget if you want such kind of reports lunar cycle re reports but personalized for you 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 as well can do that by uh purchasing that service from my website <clears throat> it's called actually i don't know how exactly it's called it's kind of like something like a, a new full moon tower reading thank you morgan Yeah, Leo now. Let's see what the Lions got on there. Um, wow. Now we are starting with real force here with the Leo because we do have the King of Wands. And if someone does represents Leo of, from the court cards, that is going to be this particular person here. So that is your attitude, guys, for what it seems. This is the topic of your lunar cycle, Leos. This is your idea idea that you're going to force forward and under force forward i mean that if someone stands in your way they are not just going to be obliterated but also for what it seems you will have the tendency to annihilate issues that stays in your way to get what you really want and then we do have the four of uh, the four of wands is a, a challenge that uh, stands in your way and then we do have the eight of cups as a uh, as in intention wise all right so uh these cards are pointing guys that you need to also add their varieties into your aims this is all about the grand scheme of things it doesn't have anything to do with your relationship or with your uh career in general or specifically all right but mostly it does have to do with the vision of how you live all right these cards are pointing that you got to the demand more from life if i may say it that way now we do have the four of uh, the four of wands into a uh, challenging position that points that uh there is an, a very important cycle that you kind of like uh, that alludes you of completion all right and alludes you of completion because um how can i place it something very important is overlooked i don't know what it is because it's going to be a, a very specific for every single one of you. But what is important here with the Nine of Cups, all right, is uh, to, how can I place it, is to add new varieties. Because the Nine, because the, uh, not, not the Nine of Cups, excuse me, Eight of Cups. Because the Eight of Cups is intention-wise, uh, kind of plays a couple of roles, all right. First role, which does not um, concern you here in that reading, but I will say it, is that you have to basically um, go for a different perspective. In a sense of that, if the things are not working very well for you right now, uh, you got to leave them as they are and uh, aim for a different perspective. But the second... Um, the second interpretation regarding the, the, the previous couple of cards here is that uh, you're trying the same thing over and over again and, and, with this, and with the same kind of efforts, you know, the same way. Uh, instead of doing that, you got to try to do it in a different way or add new varieties of activities in your life just so you can see what really you are overlooking here. Because from the same routine going over and over again, people become careless. Just it's just the same uh, the same thing as you are driving every day using the same route to your uh, to your work you know first day when you went there and when you didn't know about um, you, you didn't know the route you were very careful you know by by driving but afterwards when you memorize the route and you you're kind of very familiar with it you get careless and careless and careless because you probably can drive now with closed eyes to your job anyway the bottom line here is leo is that you have to uh, make your life a little bit more interesting with a little bit more exciting enterprises that kind of invite surprises in there just so you can see what exactly is missing you know and as soon as you define that for what it seems is that you're gonna take a, a very uh, high place into the food chain of uh, of universe 
And then we do have uh, the lesson you need to learn here. That will be the lover's card. Lover's card points about uh, either choices or it, it does points about either submission as a lesson wise. And under submission, I mean a submission to realize that not everything has to be liked by you. All right. Because when you are uh, involving yourself with something, there will be a pleasant side of it, but there will be as well unpleasant side of it. And by adopting one of them, you have to adopt the other. This is the same thing as, as with being with someone or you will be with their uh, pleasant sides you know and their pleasant routines but they also will have unpleasant routines that you'll have to get used to there is no other way around it so uh the lover's card points that you have to be uh humble you know uh, regarding the activities that are happening in your life and to be ready to face whatever is coming with their positive and negative sides as well we do have a sentence for that, you know, but uh, in, in my country, but I cannot re literally translate it in English. It doesn't sound right, you know. Anyways, um, energy wise, we do have the uh, six of wands, which points that whatever you touch is going to be uh, marked with success. That card points that you're going to be not just the, uh, um, victorious, but you will also receive accolations. All right. All right. So people will accolade you for what you did. And as well, these energies will make you will make your time easier obtaining the rewards for your labor. So if you think that you deserve a raise or a promotion in your job, I think that now is the time in the next couple of, uh, of weeks, guys, to kind of raise the matter in front of your boss. So that was about Leo. And now um, we go to Virgo. You're welcome, Adriana. Hi, Lorna. How are you doing? <clears throat> so, Virgos, the topic that's going to be the Queen of Wands. Then we do have the Knight of Cups as a challenges. Afterwards, that will be the sun as an intentions and for what it seems, that will be an interaction that you have to kind of overcome. So, uh, you will stay in between the hammer and the anvil. What I mean is that you're going to be the peacemaker here. So, your entire lunar cycle will revolve around those people. The challenging one, which is the uh, Knights of Cups, and this person is a, is a daydreamer, okay? What they talk about... Um, it does sound very pleasant, it does sound very appealing, it does sound very profitable, if you want to say it that way, but it's kind of false. As, so what they speak about are fallacies. The other person here, which is the topic really, that is the Queen of Wands, the team leader, all right? So that could be your supervisor, that could be your boss, etc., etc. And what happens is that they will call you, that person is going to call you and will say, just deal with the other one. I, I don't have the energy and I don't have the time to do so. And by them, by them doing that, uh, actually, they are giving uh, or kind of like um, placing in you a, a great deal of hope. So you will have a, a resource crisis to manage, to manage a um, HR crisis to manage, if I may say it that way. And uh, what you need to do here, it is actually um, the sun card points that you have to place on an example in front of this one or in front of that guy. So let me give you that example here that could be um, your brother or your sister which is giving really hard time to your mom, all right? And your mom is telling you, just 
you know deal with her right or deal with him I, I just cannot do that right now and what you need to do in order to deal with that is just place an example in front of this person so they can see that what they are doing is wrong so basically that is uh, your lunar cycle all right uh virgos you need to be um you need to be the pinnacle of an example into someone that have lost their ways and by doing that as well you're going to encourage as well people around you not to mention that you're going to consolidate uh the relationships with those that um that kind of like the things went really in the in, in downhill recently all right you will be able to restore back those connections and uh and the lesson wise we do have the nine of uh, the nine of wands and this card points that um patience is a virtue all right patiently waiting and patiently adapting yourself to the situation because the nine of wands is as well a, a card asking you to make some conscious changes and under conscious changes those are changes that you do create or you do make so you can make your time running much more easier than than right now those conscious changes could be renovation of your home they could be rearranging your desk at work or just changing a little bit your schedule so you can find a little bit more time for yourself but the bottom line here is is that um, with patience everything can happen for you during this uh, lunar cycle especially dealing with this person who is a daydreamer and they basically ruin the time for everybody around and then we do have the two of ones which is the uh, energy card for you energy wise this is a, a very demanding card in a sense of that you may feel highly aggravated from the stubbornness and from the incapability of others to understand all right especially with that guy here and that could kind of like make you uh, let's say a little bit more aggressive and in some rare cases it could make you quite it could make you quite frank frantic with your uh, approach toward this guy or a girl or toward the situation in, in general so what you need to do with this card is to um how can i place it is to give more challenges to yourself so you can redirect that enormous burst of energy or kind of like attend to more responsibilities because that energy when utilized correctly when channeled to all responsibilities that are awaiting you you know it could create great things but if you use it into uh just fighting with people you know it could damage a lot of things as well so uh be mindful on that <clears throat> well fran right now we are entering into libra shuffling and we're going to libra if i happen to be weaker no i don't deal with rituals mate i don't deal with witchcraft Yeah, yeah, I understood you, Jonathan. No, I'm not. I don't deal with witchcraft. All right, so, uh, Libra. Ten of Pentacles, it is why your cycle is going to be here with the challenges of Two of Cups. Now, lately for you, Libra, um, it does look like that the love really knocks on your door. It's kind of like... We are at Libra, NJ. And then we do have the Eight of Pentacles. So, uh, that is really a love interest. Again, I think that this happened uh, as well two days ago when I, uh, when I read for the uh, relationship reading for the week. 
And that for you, Libra, is really a, a love interest here knock, knocking on your door. It is just the problem for you is going to be the recuperation from a, an old relationship or the, uh, the, 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 the loss of uh, faith into people. That could be a, um, a result of a, a past relationship you had. It could be a distant one that really hurt you and you don't want to place your trust anymore into other people. Nonetheless, in these couple of weeks, Someone will try to make a contact and to connect with you emotionally. And your intentions wise here with the Eight of Pentacles are to allow those person to try it out. Eight of Pentacles, it is uh, especially talking about relationship wise, guys. It is a about um, showing to the world that you are already healed from whatever was in the past. And inviting love again in your um, in your life, and yet again it could be as well a, a reconciliation because the Ten of Pentacles as a topic also sometimes means that someone will regain back the trust once lost from you. All right, so no, <clears throat> uh, really, Jonathan, no, really, it doesn't work that way. Anyway, so, um, yeah, generally uh, someone that have uh, you kind of lost trust in them is going to regain back that trust. That is very possible here. But the thing is that before you actually involve yourself into a, um, into a, uh, um, a relationship with someone, First thing you need to think about is your independence and how dependent you will become from that person. All right. Yet again. So your independence here holds the key. Should that relationship work or not? Anyway, you got to uh, either you're going to involve yourself right now or not Libras. That doesn't really matter. The point of this lunar cycle is to make you know or to make you realize that you can't be single anymore, guys, or you can't be single forever. And eventually, eventually, you have to open yourself for somebody. So, uh, here we do have the uh, lesson that you need to learn. That will be the King of Wands. King of Wands, lesson-wise, points that sometimes great ideas requires to lift the bar higher all right so whatever idea you do by sitting on your butt is not gonna happen at all but real actions are needed and on top of those actions before you actually get those actions you first need to build up the connections because in our world nothing happens without having the right connections so this is the lesson here you first need to turn to your connections whatever you want to um whatever you want to execute thank you jonathan uh let, let's not let's not get into a debate guys please all right many people believe that that's that's um that's no issue at all but no reading cards is not magic because these cards they don't have any magic in them all right it's it's kind of like the astrology there is no magic in, in astrology it's it's a science and it's called axioma science it's a science based on observation not on theoremas so uh anyway let's not get into that i probably is going to be a topic at uh, another time but for Libras, we do have as well the two of wands as an energy. And as we said, this is a, a very violent energy, guys. You could become very bruising into an attempt to have it your way. And there is nothing wrong with that, all right? But just I need to remember I, I need you to remember here that in order to receive something, first you have to get to give something, all right? So uh, if you demand, because you will have the chance to demand here, all right? you will have the uh, the ability to want it your way, you will as well have to promise something in return. Otherwise, it will become quite one-sided. Just to say a few words, because I have um, 
I have studied witchcraft out of curiosity how it works, all right? And it works by using energies of things which are already, let's say, dead, all right? Like herbs and then colors and these kind of stuff. Using them and channeling them through a ritual. There is no ritual when you read with cards or when you... Um, when you deal with uh, astrology and if you use any energies this is your energies which isn't magic right if you have to name it something that should be sorcery all right but we are not sorcerers here <laughs> anyway so that's enough with the witchcraft and the uh, and the readings So now we go to Scorpio. Yeah, but it's your personal one, Jonathan, and that doesn't count as, you know, as witchcraft. Because with your personal one, you, you're using it based on what the universe gives you as a gift, you know, but when you touch the witchcraft that is very different because you now enhance your capabilities with 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 additional energy let's say that way and then you can break through the net of of, of uh, uh, the net of fate let's say that way and alter outcomes and now when you alter an outcome now that is counted as a witchcraft we don't alter outcomes all right No, no, nothing to be apologized, right? I'm just saying my opinion here and for what I studied. So, Scorpio-wise, we do have the Seven of Swords as a topic of... Uh... Oh, no, 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 you don't burden me, Jonathan. Uh, don't worry. So, uh, Seven of Swords, that will be our topic. No, I, I finished, Annette, I finished Libra, all five cards, it is what I said. That was the all five cards. You will have a romantic interest there, and uh, what happened again? Right, so yeah, Libra was done entirely. Uh, so Scorpio, Seven of Swords. Uh, that will be your topic. Then we do have the challenge here for you guys, which is going to be the world card. And afterwards is the intention wise. That will be the, the uh, two of pentacles. So what happens with you Scorpios is that something that you are trying to do is not going to be finished here. Or rather it will be incapable to be finished. That's because either the time isn't right. Okay. Or it is because, uh, how can I place it? It is because it does depend on other people. So what you need to do here, uh, yeah, at least uh, something like this. Anyway, so what we need to do, Scorpios, here is rather instead involving ourselves um, with... Um, something very similar to Aries, all right? Instead, uh, with the Seven of Swords, we need to first stand for once for our rights, all right? And second of all, whenever we feel that we are mistreated here, we have to storm that situation. On top of that, we Scorpios need to take a precautionary measures not to get cheated. Because the world card sitting into a challenging position, it speaks that the cycle won't be closed. All right, there will be still something that does not give us the uh, liberation we need. Uh, the, uh, we, we will not be able to finalize our things, um, not with the usual approach we are taking here. And intentional-wise, two of pentacles is nothing but being extremely, extremely adaptable. Just leave day by day, all right? Don't think, don't make plans for tomorrow, because tomorrow your plans could... Uh, could be quite changed 
for the good and for the better as well, uh, for, the, for the worse as well. So it's going to be um, different for every single one of us. But my point is that this uh, lunar cycle for us, Scorpio, is going to be a, a lunar cycle of serration. Or in other words, it's going to have ups and downs. And we cannot predict what is going to happen tomorrow. And that being said, we need to kind of like uh, have our strong spine, all right? And whenever problem arises, we have to attend to that problem uh, straight away instead of leaving it in the past uh, in, for the future all right and also we have to rather focus more upon our personal duties and things than helping others very important here with the seven of swords because uh, if we kind of focus more on helping others all right we will be in such a position that afterwards there won't be anybody that will be able to help us overcome our issues because our issues need to be attended straight away all right lesson wise that will be the five of swords and lesson wise this card says know your limitations and that instantly speaks to me okay that no matter how much one tries you cannot be the savior of the world all right it's simply there are things bigger than us people i mean not just scorpios but but people and sometimes we just have to walk away. Sometimes we just need to keep on going. Even if what happens right now is not is not satisfiable for us. Also, the card points that you should be very, um, very mindful about making harsh decisions here. With the Five of Swords, it is likely that sometimes an information could be mis misinterpreted. All right. And uh, that being said, before you make a choice during these couple of weeks, Scorpios, uh, it will benefit you if you think about it for at least a, a day. And energy-wise, we do have the Ace of Swords. And as I said, choice, uh, choices that you need to think about it. This card guarantees you guys as an energy that the truth is going to be revealed. So this particular lunar cycle, you can expect a, a big truth to come to your knowledge all right a, a big mind-blowing one that is going to actually make you more that is going to actually gift you freedom all right so i kind of think what my truth is going to be but still i'm wait waiting anyway that truth scorpios is going to give you freedom guys Okay, so that was for Scorpio. Now we go to Sagittarius. But before that, I will have a little bit of a coffee. By the way, um, I want to share something with you guys. It's an ice cream recipe. So what you do, that's from my father, by the way. My father has a, a PhD into making cookies, not cookies, but sweet things. We do have that as a uh, master's education here in Bulgaria to be a chef but chef into the uh, into desserts all right basically specialized in desserts and uh, basically what you do is you get uh, 500 milliliters of um, of a liquid cream a liquid cream that has 30 percent fatness in it all right it doesn't work with less it's 30 percent fatness needs to be so uh, this you mesh with um, with 250 grams of sugar, crystallized sugar, and kind of like you kind of mesh them until the sugar melts in the cream. Then you add one egg, you add one vanilla extract, and you basically, um, how it's called, um, this with the, um, with the spinner that you do. Uh, you basically strike down the, the cream until it becomes like, um, uh, until it becomes like a, 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 like a snow or something, you know. And then this thing you put into the refrigerator. And it becomes fantastic. Yeah, you blend it. I'm not very familiar with the cooking terms, you know. So, But, but you pretty much know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's a mixer. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. It's a mixer on my language as well, but I just wasn't sure.
so yeah guys for those uh, for those who are just tuning in uh, you can have those reports personalized for you and that service is on my website and it's called like um, new and new new and full moon uh, personal reports and uh, also if you haven't watched uh, your uh, monthly taroscope you can do that on my uh, youtube channel it is written here in um, in the description of this post and as well if you like it you know your um, your monthly report there uh, you can go even deeper than that for just one dollar you can purchase the uh, the extended monthly tarot reading for your star sign that we actually uh, go deeper into career and relationships specifically in one video all right so for that one dollar you get two readings extra all right so sagittarius oops one second Sagittarius says well Mandy um, I am I already passed Virgo now we are Sagittarius that will, that will be the five of cups with their um, with the uh, with their lunar cycle the the five of cups represents their uh, topic of the lunar cycle then we do have the seven of wands as a challenges that they need to overcome then we do have the hermit card which is the intentions so what happens here for you sagittarius is, is that you have to part ways with somebody with these cards someone that doesn't any longer shares your perspective someone doesn't that does not any longer shares your agenda and your vision in general for life i don't think that this is going to be as deep as relationship guys so this doesn't speak for a breakup in relationship because what these cards are pointing is that basically you are much smarter than this person to realize that the path that you both are walking simply ain't gonna work out and because it doesn't work out for you you basically part way with them so you can establish yourself into a much better spot now this most likely resembles friendships all right basically one realizes that that friendship it is uh, only kind of obliges you with with stupid things and thus you stop calling that person any longer to hang out in this kind of stuff uh, and instead you know you attend to much more meaningful things in your life uh, basically this is what these cards are pointing very important here as well to be said is that it's not going to be very easy for you because probably you have devoted quite a lot of time into that guy or a girl but it's kind of necessary now we do have the hermit here as a an intentions and the hermit is about taking on a, a direction a different direction even if there is no one there to applaud you all right so that person is not going to applaud you as a matter of fact they're going to be against it but this is because they don't have your wisdom they don't have your intelligence so do it intelligently guys just, guys just just stick to your intelligence and you will not do it wrong you will never get the wrong choice here even if that seems as a partial loss here all right is going to be a, a loss that you will not going to uh, lose your self-respect so you will be very uh, proud of your decision if even if the others doesn't see it that way and uh uh, lesson wise we do have the king of swords there is no more perfect card in that for, in that particular occasion because the king of swords is the master of mind king of swords is the one who penetrates through the clouds and sees the truth always always kings of kings of swords it's the one who actually have the logic as virtue and that logic is going to give you many answers during this uh, during this lunar cycle uh, Sagittarius is it's not going to be a truth as Scorpios because there is a thin line here right these answers you already knew it is just you have been deceived or not deceived but let's say clouded until this very moment all right and right now you realize what you need to do in order to proceed on forward while with Scorpio it's going it's going to be as I said a, a brand new truth that they are uh, they haven't even really anticipated so uh you sagittarius are about to do the right thing 
through this uh, lunar cycle. Wow, energy-wise, that will be the two of the two of wands again. For what it seems, you will have no remorse of pity or fear while you're doing it because those energies are going to tell you that this again or they are going to support the feeling that what you're about to do is the right thing to be done so that's about sagittarius is about this lunar cycle and then we go to capricorn All right, Jonathan, enjoy your beverage, mate. So Capricorns, uh, we do have Ten of Pentacles as a topic of your lunar cycle. Then it's going to be the tower. So things are really, shits are really hitting the fan for what it seems for you guys. Then we do have the Five of Cups as the intentions that you need to place behind it. So what we do have here is a position of sustainability. You have to sustain what you have no matter what the cost is now we do have the tower card as a uh, as a challenge for you capricorns so you can expect that something quite unexpected and that sound really foolish here but it's it's literally like there's something quite unexpect, uh, unexpected and in, in many cases unacceptable as well to happen during this lunar cycle and that being said you have to save what you can all right you basically need to aim to uh, stabilize your environment and you have to start with your family and career first. The hell with your friends here for what it seems because it's a matter of survival, unfortunately. Basically, this is what the cards are saying. And as we don't sugarcoat things here, for many of you, Capricorns is going to be a matter of survival. That could be unexpected. Um, unexpected um, expense that you need to cover and you have just made your plans for the expenses and that comes like a, a blunt hit in your head and you can't face these expenses anymore so it's about a, um, a matter of survival yeah and uh, five of cups here inten here intentional wise kind of speaks for that uh, you need to cut corners, all right? You, you basically have to deliver it yourself from the un, uh, unnecessary burdens that you do have, like people which are consuming your time, like expenses that you should not make. For example, like Jonathan does beverages and he's drinking right now, he's depriving himself from money, from, for the alcohol and from time. I, I had a... Um, I had a, a boss of mine when I was about to work, when I was used to work um, on an ordinary job, you know, eight hours per day. And he told me once, um, you know what? From alcohol and drugs, these are the only two things in this world that doesn't make any sense at all. There is no reason for them at all. They, they don't do anything. You know, what they do is they give you a or kind of like they borrow happiness from tomorrow and they are giving it to you right now. But afterwards, you have to pay for that happiness with your health, with interests. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, basically, this is what happens here, Capricorns. It's uh, kind of like, guys, you have to squeeze your budget here as well as you have to be uh, uh, as well as you have to be very vigilant about surprises because usually the tower card hits in the place where you least expect. But what what positive we can say about that is that, that the tower card, if utilized correctly, always has cleansing effects. All right. 
So basically, uh, whatever, um, whatever difficulty you experience right now in whatever field that is, that could be a, into your relationship, for example, because these cards may point that you are going to realize that your relationship isn't as strong as you thought it is, all right? And it isn't on a verge of breakup as well. Uh, the thing is that it's not too late with the tower card and this is just you know the very final step but it could be brought from there back into track and you have to do that by being a uh, very how can i say it? not not just organized but as well uh very brave was the word i was searching for all right you need to be brave to face those challenges but in general you capricorns have to be ready for the unexpected due this uh this lunar cycle lesson wise we do have the strength card oh sneeze a lot oh no i'm not going to sneeze well if i sneeze i alert you guys anyway so strength card points that uh whatever whatever is about to happen here as a lesson you should not search for its explanation and do you know why because everything comes from the challenge here the tower card and the tower card is one of the uh universal card or let's say one of the cards of faith the cards of faith are those cards which do have that symbol here all right which is uh with the embers this is the symbol yod and yod is uh, a letter from the divine alphabet and it means divine all right it means divine. It means that what is happening, it is sent from above. It is sent from a higher force. And you cannot struggle with it. What you can do, struggle against it, excuse me. What only thing you can do is struggle with it so it can make you better and better prepared person for the future. All right. And the, uh, the strength card here as a lesson says exactly that. Don't try to find reason or explanation behind it. Just accept it, you know, and deal with it patiently and eagerly. And at the end, you will be rewarded. So uh, afterwards, we do have uh, the energies, which are ten of swords. Very positive card regarding energies, which are supporting you. Ten of swords gives you the courage. It gives you the, uh, the determination to change your life like this instantly to realize that you do have things which are dragging you down to realize that there are people around you which are dragging you down for example that there are routines which are not contributing in any case for your better future and also gives you the uh, determination as i said to uh change those things with one swipe so these energies are going to make you more prone to make major decisions here to take radical actions in order to improve your circumstances and this is due to the uh, synergy in between the tower and the ten of swords it actually leads you to a, a grand change in your life guys which afterwards is going to be much more patient uh, much more secure for what it seems All right, so that was about Capricorns, and now we go to uh, Aquarius. Aquarius is um, Eight of Pentacles is your first card uh, marking up the topic of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the challenge. And afterwards, we do have the Page of Swords, which is intentions. All right. So this is most likely career reading for you, Aquarius, or so this lunar cycle will be mostly reflected to your career. And uh, it does look like that you're going to learn something or you have the chance to learn something. That is a person who will, um, how can I place it, who will perform a, a certain executions into your career executions that you will quite admire and executions that you would want to learn how to do so all right the problem is is that this person doesn't take apprentices all right and they are very uh criticized they have that 
criticizing nature within them. So that could be, uh, for example, your supervisor, which is never pleased with your performance here, your current performance, all right? Or it could be someone at your work as a coworker who can do things better than you, Aquarius is. And this lunar cycle, what you're going to do is to learn how to do the things better. This is the entirety of your lunar cycle. And what you need to do in order to do so, that is the uh, page of swords here, which speaks that you need to have your independent thinking. So what happens is a the curse of a new learner here. You learn something. Uh, you learn, uh, you, don't you guys uh, kind of um, observe that kind of a situation? You learn something or kind of you see how something is done. You get explained how something is done. You try to do it and it doesn't work. And this is a, a typical example here. It doesn't work because you're trying to do it someone else's way. All right. But you have to learn the perks of the trade or the tricks of the trade which works for you. So there is those kind of minor details regarding the work that are specifically um, personalized for every single person. All right. And you have to kind of uh, experiment with your perks of the trade or kind of like tricks of the trade. All right. So. Here we do have a, a typical situation where you try to learn a new skill or uh, a new performance of yours as uh, work-wise that will not work from the first try, but you have to experiment with it. You know in the grand scheme how it needs to be performed, all right? But sometimes you simply can't, and that is uh, very accurate for, for example, the card magicians, all right? Because I kind of like, uh, I like to practice card magic with a normal deck of playing cards. And I have spent a countless times practicing a certain moves. And when I try to make the move, the move uh, based on the explanation, either from a YouTube or either from a book, it doesn't quite work for me, you know, because I mean, I have a different, different muscle memory, for example, right? Or a different acceptance of the, the move in general. And so uh, with that practice, you find your own move, you, you find your own way to execute the move, you know, and this is exactly what you need to do in this, uh, <clears throat> in this uh, particular lunar cycle Aquarius. Learn how to execute the same thing with someone else, but in different way, all right? And then lesson, that will be the magician. And the magician, it is about that, guys, mastering a skill. So basically, to master a skill, you have to master that skill on your own. People could show you how it's done, but finding your own way is a paramount for you. Basically, that's that, all right? Don't expect that when you are, for example, signed for courses or signed for certain qualification, um, by just completing and, and, and kind of like uh, uh, passing the exam at the end makes you a specialist. It doesn't. All right. Uh, the purpose of qualification and of, uh, of education in general, at least in my, in, my, in my opinion, is just to make you know that these things exist. It is your responsibility to learn and practice them. So it's about practice, Aquarius, is, to master a skill during this lunar cycle. And at the end, we do have the energies which are going to support you. That will be the Five of Swords. Energy-wise, your Aquarius says it doesn't look like that you're going to give up. Just on the contrary, the more it doesn't work out, the more aggressive toward it you will become until at the end, you don't lift your personal capabilities and limitations. So it does look like that you will become much more valuable for your career environment at the end of this lunar cycle, Aquarius says. And at the end, we do have Pisces.
Pisces, Nine of Wands is your first card here, which represents the topic of your lunar cycle. Then we do have the Six of Swords, which play, stands as a challenges that you need to overcome. Then we do have the Three of Pentacles intention-wise. So Pisces, you are going to place A of Foundations during this lunar cycle and a, a cooperation is awaiting you all right so you will cooperate yourself with someone else in order to overcome um, difficulties and to overcome predicaments and those difficulties will be most likely mental difficulties and i'm not talking about that you do have mental problems but it's going to be the mentality that you have to make the step toward the unknown so it's kind of like having a, a companion just for courage all right but in general, this lunar cycle will present you with an options available, Pisces. It will present you with an opportunity, you know, to change a little bit the environment, the way you like it, your environment into your career or either into your relationship, the way you like it. It's the, the, I mean, the negative side of it is that you will not be able to predict what is going to happen after you change it. OK, but at the end, even though you face a critics from those who are affected by these changes, you will be able to adapt yourself very quickly and swiftly to uh, to the critics and to the change. And at the end, um, you will receive not just uh, support through your development, but as well, uh, it does look like that you will be able to repair certain relationships. So Tree of Pentacles, intentional wise, it is about to accept any feedback, either good, bad or different, and to try to work it through, all right? Any feedback that comes in your way will be a, 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 will be a constructive feedback, and you can really make a note of it and um, kind of gather up experience from it but the six of swords as a challenge it is exactly that making the step toward the unknown guys you need to know that if you don't uh make that step or kind of like if nobody uh, if everybody is sitting into their comfort zone always uh the comfort zone is a place where we are feeling comfortable but unfortunately there is no improvement there if you seek an improvement you have to step toward the unknown, all right? And the Six of Swords here points that as soon as you step it in, uh, you will significantly improve your circumstances, either into your career or either into your relationship. It is just the difficulty here will be to be in one page with, with, uh, with the people around you, all right? To be in the same page. So don't get way too annoyed and aggravated if you see that you are misunderstood, all right? But instead of uh, instead of going into uh, into a confrontation and uh, kind of like a verbal uh, verbal conflicts, try to work it through through actions. Try to involve that person more physically into the matter so they can see what it's all about and they can make a, a more accurate uh, more accurate understanding into the situation. Well, I do. You can check out my website and you can see the services there. And as soon as you purchase your reading, I will contact you to schedule a, a time if you want a reading. Uh, so a personal one, of course. So afterwards, um, Pisces, we do have Page of Wands uh, for a lesson. And Page of Wands points that you first have to be open for everything new that comes in your way. Second of all, all the information that comes in your way is an information that simply could expand your uh, knowledge, all right, and your understanding in general. And also the Page of Wands is one of the card pointing that you are going to find out that you are much stronger than you think you are, all right? So... A very valuable lesson here to realize that you're probably going beneath your uh, your limitations, all right? And you have to pretty much raise a little bit the bar here. And at the end, we do have the energies which are going to support you here, guys. That will be the world card. Whatever you start will be finished, all right? So if you want to start something meaningful, you Pisces is, this lunar cycle is the cycle, and especially as it is an eclipse, uh, this lunar cycle is the cycle where you need to start those meaningful things for you, either starting a, a process of being involved in a relationship or either starting a process of 
making a new job or uh, kind of like you know being into a new job or a private business if you want to this energy is here with the world card are promising that whatever you start will be finished all right so as a matter of fact you you may want to you may want to start something that is meaningful for you during this lunar cycle and as this was the uh the tower reading for all 12s now we go to the blitz which you guys are going to ask questions and i will choose several of those questions and we'll answer to them by drawing tarot cards so go ahead and ask your questions hello patty Patty had an interview today. Will Patty land this job? Tough job, Patty. It does look like that the competition there it is quite high here with the uh, seven of wands. Not to mention that this job is, is not what it seems. Uh, it is much more stressful than it's presented, and most likely the boss is shit. So I would say that this job it's simply not for you. In, it's not for everybody, to be, as a matter of fact. You have to be very desperate to take it, because it's a nightmare there for what it seems with that card. Dennis asks, is my life on the right path? Well, that is, your, as I assuming you're asking about your life purpose. Well, this is why it's a life purpose. So you live it through and you understand it on your own. No one can tell you that, Denise. I mean, no one. Uh, Morgan asks, what comes in love life for her or him, Morgan life? Uh, well, uh, we have the hermit. And the hermit as what is coming, it is something very substantial, maybe your true love. All right. So whenever it comes, and that usually uh, should happen within next six months to one year. So whenever you get involved yourself, Morgan, it's with the next one, well, this is the one you want to keep around, all right? So you need to play your cards very, very um, accurately, if I may place it that way. And with the Hermit card as well, you have to be very aware of your emotions in the sense of that um, only when, if you have the, uh, an emotional connection with that person, uh, this is when you need to kind of involve yourself instead of play, basing the relationship only on physical attraction. Um, oh, so Beatrice has a birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Uh, let's see about your new relationship then. Seven of Pentacles is what we do have. You need to seriously consider what you are doing right now because this card, it's not a very favorable one. I don't want to lie to you, but it does look like that something isn't quite right with that relationship. Ruji, uh, Ruji asks, what Taro has for her? We do have the High Priestess for you. So for what it seems, that will be a very calm period of time, your near future. 
in which nothing much is going to happen. Seemingly, it's not going to happen, but it is exactly where uh, some answers are going to form for you. Just to give you an example, let's say that you have recently broke up and you don't know why it happened that way. Well, way. Well, you are going to realize why. This is going to be a, a period of insights, a, a huge insights coming in your way, which are going to make you understand a lot of uh, a lot of the vagueness that is happening in your life right now. And most likely will help you to give a, a new direction and a more, you know, I cannot say more productive, but let's say more beneficial direction of your life. Um, so Rin, Rin Lin asks how Jason actually feels about me. Let's see about Jason. Well, Jason, it's 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 quite uh, his feelings are quite favorable for you. Ten of Pentacles. How should I say? He trusts you. All right, he trusts you. Uh, I cannot say about love with that card because the Pentacles are not much about love. They are much about security. All right. So let's say that uh, Jason feels secure when he is around you. Now we have a lot of questions. Um, let me find a couple of more. I'm trying to kind of we had one for a divorce, but I don't really want to get into that. All right, so Morrison Sabina. Asks about her divorce. Should it go into her favor? We have the two of cups for you. I don't think that it's going to end with a hearing tomorrow. I think that there will be some sort of attempt to uh, to be made a deal. All right. Because this card points that it's going to be in the favor of both of you. There will be a deal or it will be beneficial for every single one, including you, to have a deal. And one more. Marie Torlon asks, am I ever going to hear from my ex? We got a tower card for you, Marie. Uh, no, at least not in the way you are expecting. All right. Uh, that card points that uh, you will hear about your ex. All right. But not from him. And what you are going to hear is not going to be what you expect. But if you hope for reconciliation, stop hoping for that, for what it seems at least in the near future. I mean, the Tower card is a card saying that you have to seriously reconsider that, that field of your life and restructure it, but without your ex this time around, all right? So basically, try to find someone else that you can involve yourself with. I'm sorry that I had to tell you that, but it's what the card says. Okay, so uh, pretty much that was the that was the tarot reading for the uh, new moon into Cancer that happens tomorrow.
uh, and uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your contribution. And again, uh, you can watch your monthly tarot readings at my YouTube channel written here in the description of uh, this video or the, this post. And if you if you like your um, your tarot reading for your sign, you can get even deeper for just one dollar purchasing a video containing two readings, one career specifically and one relationship in there for your star sign. And that you can get a, a better understanding what is to come for your star sign in the uh, upcoming month. And as well, if you want such a reports, uh, lunar reports uh, personalized for you. Uh, you can do so as well at my website. There is a service there saying uh, new and full moon tarot re personal tarot reports. And by purchasing that service, you get two reports at the day of the lunar cycle taking place, which is tomorrow. And uh, that being said, guys, uh, in case you want a personal reading with me, you know how you can make that. It's going on my website and the service are there by scrolling down the, uh, the front page. And uh, that being said, that was all for tonight. It was an honor to be your host and see you around, I hope. Until then, bye.